The next three slides, I'm going to do a comparison of side by side. The one on the left, the camera's above the clouds. The camera on the right is ground level. And the point for the side by side comparison from the ground level and the level above the clouds is that above the clouds, we're only maybe a mile or so up. And if the sun appears to be closer to the camera, well, that means it's probably much closer because if the sun were 93 million miles away, a mile closer wouldn't make any difference at all to its visual appearance. Okay, these next three slides, uh, the sun is almost set already behind the horizon, but watch as the sunlight shrinks and follows the sun. It's definitely a locally illuminating sun, not far away, not very big, and definitely not 93 million miles away. Okay, remember this video from the beginning of the video? I showed you this one and how it's circling over the earth and watch it sweep to the right like a bowler bowling it in there for a strike. Okay, now I want you to pay attention to the way the light follows the sun. The sunlight's going to shrink, right, as it follows the, the locally illuminating sun. Now watch this. See it shrinking, following the sun? You do not get that if the sun is 93 million miles away. The entire horizon should fade evenly. 
just like this supposed shot taken from space of the Earth. You can clearly see the way they depict it. They depict the demarcation between day and night, or light and dark, as a long straight line. And you can see the long straight line moving as one solid piece. That means that the sunset should all fade, the entire horizon should fade evenly. But that's not what we observe, as we will see and as we've seen in the footage so far. The sunlight shrinks and follows the sun over the horizon. So these time-lapse sunsets are definitely the nail in the coffin for heliocentrism. But this particular one here, shot from above the clouds from this observatory, is the final nail in the coffin. Look at how the sun just shrinks and the light shrinks to nothing. That cannot happen, as I showed you in the uh, when the sun illuminates the entire Earth, which it does from 93 million miles away, it has to. Uh, you don't get this isolated uh, look at the sunlight trailing the sun. 